Hey guys, what's going on? Dirty Gills here. We're doing face cam. We're gonna be doing face cam from here on out. So, just letting you know. So, I haven't been able to record a video in a few days, so I'm a little behind. It's okay. Where are we at with Commander Shepard, by the way? This is part nine. Thank you for tuning in to my Mass Effect Legendary Edition gameplay. Part nine, I believe. Yeah, let's go back up. One thing I know we need to do is we need to spend some time getting some of these assignments done. Oh, it's space bar. That's right. I I forget. I forget, I forget sometimes the functions after you play different games and things, and you know, so that's what was going on. So yeah, we 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 need to we need to take care of some assignments. Let's go to the Citadel. We haven't been to the Citadel in a while. And let's see what's going on over there. All right, Shepard. Take us to the Citadel. Well, technically, it would be a Joker that would be taking us to the Citadel. But, you know. Let's go. Citadel. Yes. So, hope everybody's doing okay. Like I said, thank you for tuning in. If you like the gameplay today, please boop that like button for me. And subscribe if you're a new viewer. Come back for more gameplay. I would really, really appreciate it. Oh, the relay is still cool. I like it. And let's go to the Citadel. And let's land. Several things we can do here. I'm sure there's some more quests we can pick up. probably going to stray away from the main story today like i said i focus on some assignments and to get some uh, assignments done to get some xp you know maybe do some leveling up stuff like that all right joker see you later buddy what are we gonna take with us uh let's take uh rex we need rex people love rex don't they and we're gonna take caden I mean, we're not going to do much in the Citadel anyway. Not much fighting, so might be kind of a Equalizing boring episode. Interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hold it down, Exo Presley. I think there was some stuff up here. Can I go up here? That was a keeper. Scan the keepers. The keeper scan has been uploaded to the database. I can't go past here, so I guess there's nothing else up there. I thought there was, though. Let's talk to Rear Admiral. Hey, buddy. Ten hut. That is Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I don't. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. <laughs> okay. Uh, think of it as an opportunity. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Yeah, I don't understand. You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills. For the same price, we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. They do not like aliens around here. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. I don't know if I like this Admiral guy. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? 
Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Man, they don't like aliens. Yes. Just get over yourself, Admiral. They're allies. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I had planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. I swooned him. Shepard swooned the Admiral. We gained his trust. That's good. Let's go down. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. So invest in Exogeny. That's what it sounds like. I need to put some credits in on that. All right, who are you? I need Commander to... Shepard? Yes. Khaleesi been seen in Aljalani, Western. Khaleesi. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? I. Oh, she's a reporter. I don't know if I want to talk to you. What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Uh oh. The cameras are on me. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Um... Let's just say the Turians helped build it. Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Mm. The Normandy has only been loaned to the Citadel. It's a legal technicality that allows me to use her in my new role as Spectre. So this was only to help you in your new job working for the Citadel. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? 
Uh, that's classified. I'm afraid I can't discuss the details of my missions. So you were there on a mission from the council? That's very interesting. Given your recent experience, I'm getting into deep water in this. Humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community. Hold on. It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not going to be part of it. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. Oh, I can, and Isn't I did. Is it true you're just a shill for the Council? <sighs> yeah, it, it, trying to spin my words. Don't you do that. Word spinner. Okay, let's look at our journal. How about that? Journal. All right, what do we have to do in the Citadel? So we have homecoming. Talk with the diplomat. Where is the diplomat? Let's, let's go here. Let's, I know where I need to go. Hold on. Citadel Tower. Oh, the embassy. I need to go to the embassy. That's where the ambassador is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Citadel Tower. Uh, let's go back. Embassies. That's where I need to go. All right. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. I need to talk to her. Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. Didn't she? I should be going. Didn't she tell me where the ambassador day. was at one point? Maybe it's up here. Hmm, this way. Maybe I can look at the map and it'll tell me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to go here. That's kind of where we're, we're on our way this way. Okay. Yeah, here we are. Who are you? My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Your activity's made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's Oh, uh, I remember this one. Ah, Mr. Batia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully. Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Okay. Uh, we're going to let them study the body, I'll I think. I'll tell Mr. Batia about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. We're going to have to talk sweet to him, I'm pretty sure. All right, Nasana, how are you? Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. What do you want? You said you had a job offer. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed. She was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Uh, okay, why was she spared? Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. My dogs. You hear my dogs in the background. You just have to deal with it. Sorry. <laughs> 
Do you want me to deliver the ransom? I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Okay, so she paid some money to have her sister released from some raiders, and they basically stole the money. So what makes she, why does she think her sister's even still alive? You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Okay, I'll do it. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. All right, we got us another quest. Need to go find her sister. We can do that. What's in here? Anything in here? Let's talk to this guy. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Uh, it's glitching out on me. Why did you come see me, Shepard? An ambassador to Udina sent you. Um, who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palum, head of CSEC. And you're the first human Spectre. Get used to people knowing who you are. At least around here. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. Rude. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. That's not nice. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. <laughs> Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Maybe you should. Spectres walk a slippery slope, Commander. Operate outside the law and it changes you. Look what happened to Saren. Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. <laughs> I've known plenty of dirty CSEC <laughs> agents. There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? No. But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. I hope that's something you'll take to heart, Shepard. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. And unlike the Spectres, we work within the bounds of the law. All right. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Commander. I've talked to you enough. Let's go out here. We have some more... More things to do. We gotta go talk to this guy about his wife. He's not gonna like it. We're gonna have to swoon him. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? Yep. Mm -hmm. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. 
Mr. Batya, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She died a hero, Mr. Batya. And now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Ah, poor... Poor Samesh. Let, let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. I mean, they can always, like, give up the body once they're done running the test, right? I mean, I know it'll be a little while, but... I don't know if that's the end of the world or what. Uh, we gotta talk to you, apparently. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Okay, I don't think I need to, like... Goodbye. I don't think I need to talk Goodbye. to her anymore for this. Let's, uh, let's look at our okay. journal again. Please. Missing Colony. Let's look at our journal. The Citadel. Scan the Keepers. We've done everything else that we need to do on Citadel. Uh, we could go back... Everything else is in these clusters. There's two things we can do on Pharos. Oh, the water restoration. That see, that was with the two things that wouldn't let me finish. Yeah, those are the two things that wouldn't let me finish. I don't know what what's gonna happen with those things. All right, let's go back to the Normandy, and let's take care of a couple. No, the Citadel Tower. No, and we'll take care of a couple of these uh, of these assignments. The CSEC Academy. I think this is the In elevator news, we need to go to. I could be wrong though. Denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Yeah, this is where we're at. All right, let's go back in here. And we'll take off, so we're just gonna pick one and go. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Yeah, Exo, you're no longer important. So I'll leave again. All right, let's check the journal. UNC missing survey team. So find missing researchers. Travel to the Antaeus system in the Hades Gamma Cluster to look for missing survey team. So the Hades Gamma Cluster. Let's find that spot. Message coming in. Uh oh. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. Oh, Lord. I don't blame you for walking out on her. Sir, she was going to make me look bad no matter what I said. You're probably right. I guess it could have gone a lot worse. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. But you, you didn't let me know what the response was. Alright, which Gamma Cluster was it? It was the, uh... 80s Gamma, that's what it was. 80s Gamma Cluster, we're gonna go here. And we have to find a missing survey team. So get on it!
All right, we're just gonna have to search all of these until we can land. And then we go find the survey team. All right, not there. Survey. A large deposit of uranium. Zoom out. Survey this. We recovered a strange object orbiting Ploba. Chief Engineer Adams and Tally tried unsuccessfully to determine its origin. They did find one of the matriarch Dilanaga's writings stored within. Okay. Survey Edmos. While scanning the planet Edmos, you detect a large concentration of hydrogen. Trebin. So that's where we're going to land. So we're actually going to fall back out of that and go here real quick. All right, nothing to survey. So let's go back. This is where we're going. This is going to be our missing survey team here that we're going to take care of. All right, we're going to take, uh, we're going to take Tally with her electronics. And uh, let's take Garrus as well, because we need to get into everything that we come across. We don't really need them for combat very much. Not on this trip. All right, but before we do, let's go to our squad. Do we have any points to add to tally? Yeah, we're gonna all electronics and decryption. Let's go electronics and decryption. That's what we need you for, Tally. That's that's it. Eris has two points. Go to his assault rifles. Derg Shepard has four points. Let's go ahead and put some uh, in. Let's, let's go ahead and do our powers. Let's do the lift right there. All right, cool. So let's check out our map. We are here. Let's go over to the question mark over here first. And then we'll go around. Oh, oh, oh. What do we got? It's gonna be a trap, isn't it? Okay. Here it is. Oh, there's two things over here. There's something right in front of us, and then there's the question mark that we were going to. To the right. What is over here? Oh no! coming back no 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 you leave me alone leave me alone no repair no repair no don't 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 get out oh my god i'm gonna die i'm dead i'm dead i meant to repair i meant to repair uh my little car there but it didn't happen and i got out instead so good job good job doug all right did we make did we mark it on the map again no we got to go back so all right coming over the hill we're gonna take care of this thing this time Oh, 
I'll have to kill those things. Go, 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 go. Oh, Lord. Not cool. Okay, we're gonna do this again, huh? Oh no, this way. Oh, now we're gonna do it again. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Wait, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. Woo, okay. Now it's dead. Oh God, repair, repair. Oh man, that was a tough one. All right. Better than nothing. Okay. All right. So now for what we came for, this thing right up here, right? All right. Now that thing's dead. Get out. What do we got here? Recover artifact. I had to sneeze. Sorry. All right, so we covered the artifact. I didn't read what it was because I was sneezing. Let's go to our next spot up here and see what's in store for us. Hopefully there's not another one of those trimmers. You remember that movie Trimmers, like from the 90s? It was the 90s, right? Trimmers? Yeah, that's what it is, a big trimmer. Big alien trimmer. What's this over here? There's something over here, so we're gonna go over here real quick. I don't think this was on the map, but we're going anyway. It was it, was it? Yeah, it's not on the map, so we're gonna go take care of this first. Uranium deposit. Sure thing, boss. Survey mineral. I was not doing very good right there. All right. Look at those credits, man. Wait, what is that? Is this the same thing? Yeah, it is. Okay. Wasn't sure what that thing was. All right, now let's go where we were going. All right, there's two things over here. Yeah, one's on the map, one's not. This one's not on the map. Let's go over here and then we'll come back. Okay, maybe this is the same, same complex. 
Let's go over here first, actually. Any enemies over here? I don't see any. There's none on the map. Nobody's been here for a while. Redeploying. Is this where our survey team was, probably? Ooh, give me loot. Give me loot, baby. Nothing else in here. Just in case. Medi gel. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. We should check out the excavation site. Could be some answers there. Okay, excavation site. Again, manual override. Easy enough. Thank you. All right, what did that just add to our journal? Explore excavation site. Log entries indicate the research team discovered something in the nearby excavation site. Go there and find out what happened. I'm imagining that's that other little spot that we saw that we're going to go back to over here. All right, let's go in. This whole episode is just gonna like be me doing like a couple of assignments. Not much. We're not supposed to rush through this game anyway, so it's all good. All right, we're in an excavation site. Got my gun pulled up. How many medi gels do we have? We have five medi gels. We're good. Nothing red on the map yet. Okay then. Okay. They're coming. Oh, they're hitting me. I didn't realize they were damaging us. Okay. Technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Alright, it wasn't, wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. They just kind of funneled through. Wasn't really ready for that. That's okay though. What's in here, man? Fusion can oh never mind. Go around here. Up, oh, up. Oh. My hand hit the mouse and did something weird. Nothing over here. Where are we going, guys? All right, here we go, over here. But both of these doors are closed. Oh, hell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, run back, run back. Fall back, fall back. Good job, team. It counts for all the Exogeny survey team. Oh, that accounts for them. They were, oh, that was our, our survey team. They turned them into those things. They were converted into cybernetic husk by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from the Geth territory is a mystery. So that was our survey team. Let's check out the uh, the journal here. What does it say? Oh, well, we finished it, so it's not there anymore. Missing survey team. We're done. Okay. 
But now we can go in these. So let's go in these and see what's in here. Maybe some loot. Let me in. Yeah, there's some loot. Oh, that one, this one looks tough. Got it. Can't keep me out. Let's go on the next one. Need some more loot down here. The sludge canister. Don't know what that is, but it have, it gave me loot, so that's all that matters. All right, now let's get the hell out of here. Oh, here's some loot right here I missed. And more. It was all hiding. Now, I reduced to Medi Jail later. I like to make sure my entire team is as the latest and the greatest of what I have to offer. Then I will convert things I don't need to Medi Jail. So that's how I do it. I know people just like convert to Medi Jail, like right there, but not me. Let's go ahead and hit them. Hit the uh, the Medi Gel. I keep saying Medi Gel for Omni Gel. You know what I mean. You know what I meant. All right, so we finished that assignment, but we do have we have two more spots to go to. We're gonna go up here first. We're gonna finish everything on this planet first before we go back and again guys i hope you're enjoying the gameplay today i will remind you to please help me out if you do and hit that like button and of course new viewers think about subscribing and come back you can change your mind later you can change your mind later if you don't like me but for now if you've made it this far you might as well go ahead and subscribe All right, let's go. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff down here. All right, and we will stop and we'll get out. Deactivate. Was that all I needed to do or do I need to go to these things? Okay, yep, I just needed to deactivate this. There was nothing else to do. Let's hit the map and let's go here. We might have some uh, some little ugly dudes to kill at this one. Pretty sure. Hey, come on, man. Am I really stuck? Oh my gosh. Am I really stuck? Okay, yeah, I'm stuck. Wow. How do you get stuck on this? I know it's an old game, but damn, it was remastered. Come on, man. Come on, man. Give me a freaking break. All right, so apparently I have to do everything over again, guys. So, uh, because of that one glitch. So let me do all this stuff again, and then we'll get back to it. Actually, you know what? We'll just call this the video. We'll call this the video, because the only thing else I had to do 
let's go here and I was gonna end the video anyway but now I have to do all this shit over again so we'll call it the video guys so please I hope you enjoyed the gameplay today please like and subscribe comment down below and we'll see you in the next video guys take care peace